Raider Nation. This is Duntoff. Today I am at the Raiders Allegiant Stadium. As you can see, it's in the evening. It is Thursday, July 16, 2020. So I haven't been out here at night for a while. I saw online a little bit ago that they had all the white stripes on. But as you can see, as I got here, there's nothing on right now. So I am on the Hacienda Bridge. I'm walking towards the, we'll just walk down towards and see what we can see. So you can see around the perimeter, they got a lot of the lights on. They got like the spotlight type lights. And then we can see inside the building a little bit. can see the torch in there. I was hoping to get all the lights on. One of the local news was showing it live. So right now it is 9.20 p.m. So when I saw it, it was only like a half hour ago. So I missed it. Hopefully they don't put them back on while I'm out here. All right, so we're walking, this is Hacienda. And we're coming up to this street here. It used to be Aldebaran, now it is Allegiant Stadium Way. So this lot right here, this is the C lot, which is supposed to be Coors Light lot. And then we got the B lot right here on this other corner. And that is for buses and shuttle buses in that area. All right, so this is it's the Allegiant Stadium Way. So you turn off Hacienda on to Allegiant Stadium Way. And then we'll end up on L. Davis Way. There's still some workers here. They had the stadium authority meeting today. I didn't really hear what was going on with it. I don't think it was anything major. All right, so if we look at this street sign. L. Davis Way and the Legion Stadium Way intersect. right here those are the new palm trees they put in you can see all that fencing up then as I was up on the bridge I did notice they put a new sign up kind of looks like it's in the way though because from the bridge it blocks where it says the greater image We're coming up to it, you'll get to see it over here. And I'm going to show you can see the reflection in the side of the building there. So that's more just the city lights. You can see a little bit of the, that is the Orleans Hotel, the little taller building. Because the strip is actually, you know, more to the towards this corner here. I'll show you the strip so you can see everything. We got Luxor. All right, so here's the new sign. 
It did show the one on yesterday's video. I zoomed in just on my computer. It was the southeast lot. So now you can see this is north entry. They got this big sign over the over these archways. So it's the Ford North Entry. I guess from here it's not as bad, but on the bridge it like blocked the it blocked the view of reading like the radar image and stuff. It doesn't look like they're testing out any of the lights inside tonight either. We're going to walk down over here towards Dean Martin. Over there you can see that big uh, Yesco sign. They got the Raider Shield going up on this side now. When I was there yesterday, they only had it on the south side of it. Alright, so this would be when them lanai doors would be open and the torch lit. It's, you know, game going on in there. Even out here, you're going to hear all the stuff happening. They did put up that fourth billboard today, this morning. If you look on the North View cam, you'll see them. They lifted it up. I think it was like nine o'clock this morning. walk down this east side it looks like they're trying out a little bit of the video screens over that Ticketmaster booth all right so over here so you can see this is L Davis and Dean Martin lights to turn on. So you can see this D lot now. They got it all cleaned out. They were using it for a lot of storage and getting stuff ready like all these billboard signs and stuff. So now you can see it's all cleaned up. All right, so here's the big sign you can see where they put the other shield on this side of it. So that'll look good when it's all in. So we can see some video. It doesn't look like like anyone's really here working on it. So I guess they just have it on.
but that shield's pretty big. Bigger than it looked in that rendering. And then all around it, it is the same black as the panels on the stadium. So it's going to look good. We got a Yesco truck here, so they might be working on the other side right now. Or actually, they got something going up. You can see the lights inside, so they're probably inside hooking up stuff. side of it you can see the other shield right there okay, you can see some sparks flying over there on the they're working that's the media mesh area like they're working on one of the brackets maybe something wasn't lining up right and you can see how you can see the you can see those LED stripe lights inside so that's where media mesh is already there. So see how you can see through it. It looks pretty good. And you can see they got a couple other crews working on this side. So this mesh is coming along pretty fast. Even just since I was here yesterday, I got a lot more of it up. Okay, so this is the view of the media mesh board. This will be straight on. So if we try to zoom in, so you can see inside. Kind of looks like those. I know it's not getting the best view, but those kind of look like portable bars in there. All them rectangular things along the glass. Lights aren't coming back on. So, all right. So, the lights turned on. Uh, we weren't seeing things earlier on the internet. All right. So this is the east side. The building's just so big. When I'm videoing on 
I can't get the whole picture in. We're gonna walk around to go back towards El Davis. We'll get a good view of that. These lights look good and it lit up. It was like dark over here today, so these lights put off a lot of light. screen will come right to where them lights go to the point right there almost all the way to that edge and over there So we have the Allegiant sign lit up this one. It looks like the one over here is lit also, the smaller one on the north side. Yes, as we're coming up now, you can see it. better when this one is lit up right here get that shield going okay we gotta go through our little tunnel so someone's actually inside this big sign right now working up in there Oh, so we even have, you can see they got the lights on underneath the security entrances over there. You can see how the lights are going around in there. So the strip is right there. So the strip is right on the other side of Interstate 15. So this Hacienda Bridge, remember, on any event days, the Hacienda Bridge will be closed to vehicles. So it'll be just a pedestrian only, because they're expecting a lot of people that are gonna stay at all these hotels. You know, they're just going to walk up. So that's another reason why there's not as much parking. Because of just the way this town is. You know, more people are going to come here on vacations and just walk over or Uber. Uber and Lyft. Alright, let's check out this view now. That's well, looking good. For a while they were checking out a lot of the lights on the inside like all the video screens and stuff like that you would see all the different colors flashing at night but that seems to be all finished now there's a little reflection of the torch right there right in the center Alright, we're going to walk where 
right by L. Davis Way. doors to open up and them to turn the torch on. entry they're getting their money's worth with all these sponsors Notice they don't have the can't see it too good the trees are in the way so I know it's underneath where it says welcome to Legion Stadium then down below where the Raider image that's not lit up yet but you can see all, it appears like all the white strip lighting is on everywhere so at the end of the video I'm gonna actually do a drive around we'll start at Russell and Polaris then I'll drive around the whole stadium just to show yeah so the crews are working on like this lighting right now this northwest corner the legion sign is also lit up there all right we're gonna go do a drive around at a place that way we'll show a full view around the whole thing there's the lights again reflecting on the glass All right, I'm on Russell Road and Polaris. I'm at the Terrible Herbs gas station. So we're all, the, this is be the southwest end. So we're gonna do a complete drive around of all the, just so you can see all the lights. So now we're heading, we're 
we're heading south. This is the north end. Now this street right here that we're going to turn is this is the L. Davis Way. This is the north entrance. We got some lights. That's why I came out here originally because the news was showing online that the lights were on. Then, as you saw when I first got here, they were off. And then we lucked out, we got them to put them back on. They must have seen me out here. All right, Raider Nation, if you're not subscribed and you want to keep getting updates about the stadium and the headquarters, Please subscribe to my channel, Raiders1967. Then you can also follow me on Instagram at Duntoff67. Raider Nation, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll talk with you guys next time.